I'm going to include a clip on this video so that you are able to see the struggles of those who do purchase a Detroit Lambic house in Detroit Water Department. Y'all, y'all some bullshit. <laughs> y'all need to stop playing with people, for real. Hello everyone, welcome back to Humble Hunters. Long time no see, it has been. It's almost the end of the year. This just this is like a quick update. I do need to drop some other videos. I have to find my old videos I recorded earlier in the year, so I'll be dropping those. This season of Humble Hunters will be a little bit shorter because we are in the process of um. So we had some funding. I gotta look it up. We had some funding for the roof. We ended up getting approved for like. I say they gave us an extra maybe six thousand, like twelve thousand. So we didn't use that funding. So we're actually in the process of getting accepted and getting refunded. Cause that was like over the last time I talked about the funding. We didn't find no good contractors. So that funding expired. So we sent in some new quotes, which was fine with us, because we wanted our funding to be even higher. The highest quote we got so far for the roof is 16000 So, that's cool. Because like I said, we can get more funding and we don't have to pay out of pocket for no roof. So, we did submit some new submissions for our, for our roof. And, you know, to get more funding. So, we waiting on to hear back from that. And, of course, our funding for the roof will last a lot longer like it did before. So from that, we already got our furnace, water heater, and stuff like that. We called it the water department to come out and mark the water line. They didn't do that. So we got to see about that. Two plumbers came in and saw it. Saw the house. They didn't see. They couldn't really tell because the house is old. It was built in 1910. They couldn't really tell where the water line was. So we, we need to get somebody up out. We we'll call like the... um. We'll call the water department again. First, we gotta get some plumbing. Right when we was about to get some plumbing done. Cause the person that we was going with actually, great deal. They had a great deal. We was about to go with a family friend, but he's a little older and he be busy. So I don't, don't nobody got time for that. So I was trying to get the plumbing out the way. Right when I was trying to do that, we, I ended up getting into a, a car accident. So today's date is um, November 3rd. I got into a car accident on October 12th. Somebody hit, it was like a head on the front of my car. Ended up messing up my, um, ended up messing up my hand. It feels a lot better. It was swollen and stuff like that. Me and my husband are currently expecting as well. So in a couple more weeks, we're, we'll be having another baby girl. So it's been a lot just going on the past year and a half, I should say. And we haven't been really I haven't been really definitely me focus on the house I actually have my business as well so I've been focusing on that and then my husband he works I normally do the back end of whatever needs done check programs um, book people contractors and stuff like that so I end up always doing the back end of the work while my husband works so that's how how, how that works so like I said we're we're it's not a good contractors out here but however, ooh, I'll be out of breath. However, when we do find good contractors, we will let you guys know. Cause like I said, good contractors in Detroit are hard to come by. We have yet. I actually found this one company. I nine times out of ten, we'll probably go with them for our roof. Cause when it came to our roof, I'm gonna put the the damage. Cause our chimney had collapsed. This happened before we got the house. The chimney had collapsed on like this back room. And I had people that, oh, you're going to need an architect. Like, that's how I can tell they didn't know what they was talking about. I just had people that somehow they weren't able to do it, but contacted me to do the work. So I don't got time for that. But I did find a company that's fully licensed and stuff like that. He said he can fix that without a problem. 
which was cool. So I'm gonna end up going with him. I'm gonna call him back. And like I said, we're gonna get more funding for the roof. So it should be a lot higher than what was before. I think it was 12,000. Cause at first we started with 5,000. Oh, they gave us way more. So at first we started with 5,000. So they end up giving us seven more thousand. So with that, another thing we gotta do is just we. I'm kind of over the whole thing already for it to kind of be over with. Even though my focus has not been on it, cause if I'm not doing it, you know my husband he not. If I'm not doing the back end of the work, it probably won't get done. Cause like I said, he goes to work. I do the back end. But this was a um, quick update. Like I said, I'm going to show the pictures of the damage that was caused to the roof from the chimney. Also, I have the video of um, the furnace being installed. I got to find all of these videos. And then, I want to have some more um, videos. Like, update videos. I've also been helping my um, uncle. He wants to buy a land bank house. And, you know, I've been talking to my sister as well. She has a land bank house. She had purchased hers, like, I think the year after I purchased mine. So, she's ready to, like, get out appliances and stuff like that. So, yeah. So, I've been doing that, just helping people find their land bank houses. Because, like I said, with, with me, this is my first time. It's, like, trial and error. And, like I said, once, once I learn, of course, I help my people out. Once I figure stuff out. So, so you know when you do stuff first you're just trial and error then when you tell somebody else about it you're bound to like you would do it better the next time around next house we do a lot better the next time around get out quicker because before i wasn't focused on the old i wasn't focused on the list my husband like just stick to the list stick to the list i'm trying to do everything else that's not on the list but he's like just stick to the list and like i said we could have I'm tired. We could have been out compliance, but um, we decided we didn't want to just take other people's pictures. We could have been out compliance. But yeah, I'm kind of over all of this, and I'm ready for it to be over. And it'll be over soon. It's November. We bought the house in December. This 2023. We bought the house in 2020. So, I'm ready to wrap this thing on up. But um, what was I about to say? <laughs> Husband. Hey. Say hi. You, hi. Haven't, you haven't been on the videos in a long time. I this have. This is for Humble Hunters. I have been on videos. No, you haven't. As of recently, which was, um, I believe two days ago, November 2nd. They had, um, like a special. I don't, I don't watch the news. But somebody told me about it. My uncle told me about it. So I ended up watching this news regarding the Detroit Land Bank. Quote unquote. And then the um Detroit Water Department Sewage Department. So this guy, I'm gonna I'm gonna include a clip on this video so that y'all are able to see the struggles of those who do purchase a Detroit Land Bank house and those who um actually fix them up. <laughs> so so I'm gonna include that clip. Y'all tell me what y'all think. And Detroit Water Department, y'all, y'all some bullshit. <laughs> y'all need to stop playing with people, for real. And then somebody already asked y'all, was the water line cut before they got the house? The water line sh should not be cut if y'all said it wasn't cut. Y'all need to update y'all system. That's what y'all need to do. Hopefully we don't have them problems. I'm hoping for that. Fingers crossed. We don't have the problems Cause the Detroit y'all Come on now These two should go together Somebody need to update their system And the Person who bought the house that's trying to bring it Up to compliance and bring it The community back should not have to Pay for anything cause y'all got these Outdated ass houses I'm just saying but I'm about to include that clip And we'll catch you on the next video after this You know all right, buyer beware. A warning tonight if you've ever considered buying a house from the Detroit Land Bank. 
It's clear that the houses are distressed properties that may need more than doors and windows or a new water heater. But as 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig shows us tonight, there could be a deep money pit lurking below the ground that you may not discover until it's too late. Some people may look at a Detroit land bank house like this one and they can see that it needs windows, even a door, and maybe even stairs on the inside. But it's what you can't see that could cost you so much more than you ever imagined. If somebody told me that I had to put in, besides everything else that I had to do here, $20,000 worth of um, water supply and sewer, I would have walked away immediately. When Joe Bellinger bought this house from the land bank in 2020, he knew it was not your average fixer-upper. Doing top-of-the-line work everywhere. The sewer is going to now get me kicked out. I now have to um, figure out how to use a toilet and I have to use a bucket over there to empty out the water from my sink because I can't use the, the sewer. $15,000. And for other people like Spencer Harris, it's the shock of a new water line, something he claims he called the Detroit Water and Sewage Department to check before buying the house from the land bank. They told me that they didn't see any cuts or anything to the line, so that's why I proceeded to get the house. The Water Department claims Harris did not check, and yesterday, the Detroit Water and Sewage Department's Public Affairs Director, Brian Peckinpah, and spokesperson Alexis Ware told us this. Uh, we do urge people to call, preferably ahead of time, before they purchase the home so that we have time to set up the appointment and go out and physically be there to determine whether or not there's a service line. But today, they're walking that all the way back saying their crews would only come out to check the water lines after someone buys the house. Before then, you're on your own. The water department doesn't know which homes in Detroit have uh, water connections. Its records are um, faulty and inaccurate. Aaron Mondry is a senior reporter with our partner Outlier Media. He's written extensively on water and sewer issues on land bank houses. We tell people, please do not move into these houses because they are not having Land Bank CEO Tammy Daniels said it's too expensive for them or the water department to verify whether there are working water and sewer lines. And that's why in 2020, they put these red disclaimers on their listings that the cost to repair could be $10,000 or more. So I would just implore people is to totally take advantage of all the information that is on the website and take advantage of the opportunity to go and walk those properties before they actually, you know, bid and pull the trigger. Bellinger just hoping the land bank doesn't run out of patience with him and snag back the deed. I don't think I have any regrets because I'm hoping I can still get through. Get me, get back to me when I do or when I have a dual life. Then I'm right back on deal. Still got some bulls on the payroll. You niggas still sipping Carol. She would have been in the lay at the condo. We about to eat my Giano. Helping the PI, some beaming on knuckles. Thinking I should take the Bronco. AJ, gotta go get it tomorrow. I'm selling out the Apollo. Inside my body is hollow. Kind of don't make it your clothes out the ghetto. You know that was always the motto. The nigga won't touch that inside of his neck. I just let it be. I'm coming swallow. Told my little brother we pulling us back and these niggas that think we hoes Don't do no explaining, I don't know what you think of, but you help a young nigga grow You add up the two rings up off of my bangers, I feel like it's turning the mo Give out so many pens about so many bangers, you asking the real niggas no I been putting that shit on, showing me boy how to dress and get fresh and pull up with the hoes Don't care about no nigga been sending me threats on the west, I get love for the lows Let me turn back around and go back to himself for a nigga with internet jokes But the shit I'm still doing for Jeff and Lakita, you know it's so I put to the post Am I hot covered in chrome? Then I did not rock a chrome. Gonna back up in the bone. Bad bitch, you passing me robes. Yeah. Heavy little spinners been doing it wrong. I never talk on the phone. No. Yeah, class yesterday, wanna be known. Mad that we did.